Okay guys, welcome to my game hunting video. I'm here with Zach. What's up? And this is like a bonus episode. We, I, I'm uploading uh, amusement parks videos because we, because Zach came down to visit and uh, we went to a bunch of amusement parks. But this video is about game hunting. And we are here at Hotspot Electronics. Where are we, Colonial Heights? Yeah, we're in Colonial Heights, Virginia. And we're, go we're gonna go to Richmond. We're actually doing a really uh, ultimate version of game hunting where we're actually tra traveling kind of far to go ultimate 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 but uh i'll i'll see if I, i'm recording with my phone because we forgot the the camera at the house because we actually brought some stuff to trade which i'll show you in a second but it's going to be awesome guys i can't guarantee you that we'll get to videotape in every place that we game hunt because if we hit a pawn shop or whatever we do um they might not allow filming in there i don't some places are weird like that but anyway i'll see you in the next clip so this is a shot of the stuff i brought to trade we got final fantasy 10 best game ever i bought it like three times on the ps2 ps3 and ps4 i, I have a problem i know we got Twisted Metal Black, Starcraft, some stuff that I actually brought for Zach. There you go. This, I don't want these Thanks, anymore. Man. This is also for you. Oh, it's a single. Sweet. Romance of the Three Kingdoms on the PS2. Dungeon Siege. Some stuff that will probably get thrown away because they're, they're burnt. Grand Theft Auto on PS1. I'm probably gonna keep this if I can find the loose disc. If not, I'll probably trade it. NASCAR Rumble, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, Skater 4, Sled Storm, a bunch of loose disc PS2 because now I'm only collecting complete and box stuff. Uh, it's it's Episode 3, Max Payne, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 and 1, 1 and 2, Harry Potter Sorcerer's Stone, X-Men Legends, The Incredible Hulk, Sly Cooper that needs resurfaced, Sly Cooper 2, and some DVDs that I'll probably, and well actually, there's two sports games on the PS2, and then uh, some cartoons on DVD that I probably will trade to Tech Exchange if they take it. And next, we have an R2-D2 robot which I do not have room for anymore. It's awesome, but I don't have room for it. I'll probably trade that into oddballs when we get there. It, it basically is interactive and it does a bunch of stuff. The next box is taped up, but if you look up Harry Potter Castle, you might be able to see it in this video. I'll film when we actually make the deal at oddballs, but it's, sorry, there's a truck, but it's basically, a Polly Pocket Harry Potter castle with little figurines and stuff. It's pretty cool, but I just don't have room for it. First, so here is Hotspot Electronics. I'll get a video of the inside, but there's Zach in front of Hotspot. All right guys, so we just got into uh, Hotspot Electronics and I will film any uh, rare or awesome games that I find. Awesome games. They have two copies of my favorite game ever. It's the best game ever. I have a problem. <laughs> Here's a shot of the Super Nintendo case. Not a bad selection. There's Metroid, there's Mega Man 2. Turn to Silius.
Me and uh, Zach just got out of Hot Spot Electronics, and Zach, you show him what you got first, because mine's in a bag. I got Call of Duty World War II, finally, and he just dropped the price again today, so that worked out for me. And I actually got uh, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition on the Wii, because Rean Bean on YouTube said that it was awesome and underrated, so I'm going to try that out. On to the next, as... Uh, What's his name would say? I forget his name mm -hmm. on YouTube. All right, so we arrived at Oddballs. I don't know if they'll let us film inside. I'll try to take some pictures if, if I can sneak them. But um, the rest of the video, I don't want to keep doing these intros, and I, I feel like the viewer, you the viewer, won't want to watch that either. I'll just see the stuff, because I know how collecting videos what you want. So I'll just try to keep it with the stuff, and we're gonna go to Carytown next. We'll film some of the stuff and sites and things like that. But we're going into oddballs. Let's see if they Odd let us. Oddballs. Let's see if they uh, trade with me for my Harry Potter castle on RGD2. Balls. And we'll see what they have. All right, so we just got out of oddballs. And basically, I took some trade stuff, my trade stuff, the Harry Potter castle and the RGD2. I don't think the guy's batteries were working or something happened with the R2-D2. Last time I checked it was working, but we just wound up not making a deal on that. But I got $20 for um, my Harry Potter castle, which is not it, it's fair. And I picked up this, which cost me nothing. It was $2. Um, it's Batman number 122, um, The Marriage of Batman and Batgirl. I don't know if it's a reprint or anything. It says Pizza Hut Collector's Edition Volume 1. So I'm not sure. This comic I'm unfamiliar with. I'm looking for key issues right now. But we'll see you in Carytown. Just got done at a tech exchange and we're on our way to Velocity Comics to see if they will take my R2-D2 and we're gonna probably look around a little bit when we get in there but I did get some stuff at the tech exchange what I got was Stunt Racer FX Sonic 3. And Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures. And we'll see you at Velocity Comics. Okay, so we just got out of Alpha Comics and Games. I tried to sell my R2-D2 without any luck because I thought the lady for sure was going to say we do not deal in toys, but she said we are currently not buying, which is even worse. But, the thing is, I caught him slipping on a comic book, I'm pretty sure, because I went in there and I saw Man of Steel number 18, and they wanted 50 bucks for it, and it sells on eBay for, like, way less than that. So, that is not what I caught them slipping on, but when I asked to see Amazing Spider-Man, she's pointed me towards the A's, and I did find this issue. This is Batman Adventures number one, which isn't as you know, valuable as the Harley Quinn issue of number 12, but it was only $5.99, which is pretty good because I went to another comic book store and the guy wanted 20 bucks for his. And the guy actually had fair prices there. So I, you know, I think I did pretty good. Because Zach Lee is with us, we have to go to Krispy Kreme in Richmond.
We're at Bix and Bits and Pixels in Carytown. So we just got out of Bits and Pixels and I got Comic Zone. Let me get the bag out. Comic Zone for the Sega Genesis. Alice Madness Returns for the Xbox 360. And Sly Cooper, the first one for the PlayStation 2. I'm up to I'm up to 10 Relentless Rats. I'm trying to get to 20, but I'm, I'm halfway there. Because he went to One-Eyed Jacks. OP deck. Stop second in Charles. This place is huge. It's huge. They even have guitars? I'll record anything awesome or pickups when I get it. Just got out of second in Charles. It's a pretty cool store. It's huge. I got As I Lay Dying. Uh, Shadows are security. Lords of Dogtown on DVD, which I was looking for. And Miss Pac-Man on Sega Genesis in box. Hey everybody, so I'm sitting here editing the video and I realized that I have some pictures of some stores that I didn't take any footage of and I didn't film a pickups video but yet they're in pictures at the end and the reason for that is uh, some of them I just knew they wouldn't want us to film but the other part is um, it was just so hot and we would have had to film so much. This is why you need a camera guy. Or something to help, like the game chasers do, to help you with um, filming all the time. Somebody that's not so interested in video games, although the game chasers, they do have people that are interested. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, uh, just let you guys know, I did pick up uh, one thing from Stories Comics, which I definitely recommend to anybody that loves video games. Um... I picked up part four of Deadly Foes of Spider-Man, so I have the complete series now. I have one, two, three, and four parts to it. So that's all I really wanted to say. Most of it I did film. Uh, the only thing was the uh, Deadly Foes of Spider-Man part four.